Construction Calculator is an Android app available from Snappy Apps. This software is available on the Google Play Store as a free, ad-driven version and a paid, ad-free version. The software is designed with construction tradesmen in mind and was created by tradesmen who work in the field. Construction Calculator is a very comprehensive package and we highly recommend you watch this tutorial and our entire tutorial series in their entirety so that you can get the most out of Construction Calculator. We have included links to all the associated videos below in the write-up. While Construction Calculator has many handy modes such as a full-featured triangle calculator and an areas and volumes mode, in this tutorial we will be concentrating on the arcs and sectors mode. With that said, let's take a look at the app. The arcs mode button can be found in the mode buttons directly below the main blue display. If the mode bar isn't visible, this is because it is set that way in settings. So the first thing we'll want to do if you don't see the mode bar is go into settings, which is the purple button with the gear icon. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And scroll to the bottom. And under mode bar, there is a mode bar visible button check, check mark. You'll want to make sure this is checked. If this is unchecked, the mode bar is hidden. So we'll want to make sure that it, it isn't that it isn't hidden for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and change that back. And now let's go ahead and go into the arcs mode by clicking on the arcs button. When you first come in here, you'll see the diagram of the selected shape. So there's four different ways you can uh, solve for circles, arcs, sectors, and chords and the buttons for those modes are found at the bottom of the display. So this is the circles mode, we have an arcs mode, we have a sectors mode, and we also have a chords mode. So for this tutorial let's keep it simple at first and we'll solve a circle. To solve a circle or any of the uh, shapes that you can solve for we simply enter dimensions and when the calculator has enough information it will automatically solve. So let's go ahead and enter a diameter for this circle. So to do that, we click on the blue bordered button labeled diameter. When we do that, the calculator comes back up, which is, allows us to enter a value. Or we can uh, alternatively uh, use our history or our memory. I don't have any values in there right now, but when you're working with your calculator, you'll have plenty of values in here to choose from. And you can also do an intermediate calculation. So you could actually uh, do like a six, six foot plus three foot equals and then uh, use that value as well. So for this example, let's just type in eight foot six, eight feet, six inch. Once you have the value you require on the screen here, you just uh, hit the back button on your calculator <clears throat> or on your phone. And that value will be entered into the box that you selected, so in this case, diameter. And you'll see for the circles, it's a pretty simple module, so all it needed was a diameter. And now it's solved circumference, radius, and uh, the area of the circle. So at this point, we have a solved circle, so um, we can reset to solve another. Or we can also click the Save button, and that will save all of our uh, results back to the calculator's history. So let's go ahead and do that just to show what it does. Results saved history successfully. I'll go ahead and um, go back to the calculator now. And you'll see that if I call up history, we'll have all our circle uh, results and the number we entered here. And if we want to use them, we can just click on them and they'll come into the calculator display where we can do uh, more calculations on them. So let's go back into the arcs module and reset it with the reset button. And now I'll just show you how the other, uh, we'll do one other mode, but all the modes work the same. You enter dimensions until the calculator can solve it and then it will solve it automatically. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chords, uh, the chords mode. So we'll go ahead and click on the chords button. That'll bring up our chords calculator. This is the most complex of the uh, arcs calculators. And you'll see there's a bunch of red boxes as well at the bottom. What these are is these are results and uh, are not numbers that you can actually enter. So they're red, they're uneditable. 
So let's go ahead and enter a couple numbers so we can get a result here. So let's enter a radius of five foot six inch. And we use a fractional inch this time, half. So we'll go one numerator, two denominator. And we'll go ahead and hit the back button on our phone. You'll see that result comes in. It's also calculated the diameter since it can. And now we'll have to give it a few more numbers so we can uh, actually solve this. So we've given it a radius. So let's go ahead and give it a segment rise. Uh, segment rise one. And we'll give that a value of one foot two inch. Hit our back button. And now you'll see that it's had enough information. It has solved the entire um, <clears throat> chords mode. So you now have all these values that it's calculated. And just like the circles uh, mode, you can actually save this. And if you want to do another calculation, you can reset it. So let's go ahead and go back to our calculator and you'll see in history. And so as you can see, all the results and numbers we entered from the chords are now in our history. And of course, if we want any of these numbers, we can click on them just like we did with the circles. So we'll say we wanted the uh, chord length, we can click on that and bring it up on the display. We can work with it or maybe it's something we need to use later. So we can just uh, hit that memory set and put it in memory. And now it'll be there for when we need it. Just like that. <clears throat> and of course, there are a couple other modes in the arcs mode, the sectors and arcs, but they're all the same as circles and chords. Enter dimensions, you know where you've measured, and the calculator will calculate the unknowns. Perfect. Well, hopefully that gets you going. I hope you really enjoy our app and that it saves you tons of time. If you require more help, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with new tutorials and apps. Also, check us out on Instagram under Snappy Apps. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.